Marielle, in a recent video address, President Volodymyr Zelensky urges the West to provide more weaponry to his country to sustain Ukraine's defenses, while Russian missile attacks continue to trap and kill civilians. Дуже конкретно. Це літаки для України, це танки для нашої держави, це протиракетна оборона, це протикорабельна зброя, це те, що є у наших партнерів, що у них просто припадає пилом. He further accuses the West and NATO of cowardice for being intimidated by Moscow and asks to step up their assistance for after waiting for almost a month now into the conflict. Один відсоток ми не просили б більше і не просимо більше. А чекаємо вже 31 день. Тож, хто керує євроатлантичною спільнотою? Невже досі Москва через залякування? Партнерам потрібно активізувати допомогу Україні. Meanwhile, in a statement, head of Ukrainian military intelligence Kirill Budenov accused Russia of seeking to split Ukraine in a North and South Korea situation. This is in light of Russian President Vladimir Putin's aim to seize the eastern part of Ukraine. Furthermore, Luhansk People's Republic plans to hold a referendum on joining Russia, to which Ukraine's foreign ministry spokesperson Oleg Nikolenko says they are null and will have no legal validity. So far, Russia has failed to seize Ukraine's major cities and signaled that it would instead scale back its ambition and focus on Ukraine's Donbass region. Marielle? Maeve, are there any updates on the negotiations between the two countries? So far, Marielle, Ukraine and Russia's negotiators confirmed that the next round of face-to-face -face talks between the two countries will take place in Turkey from today until March 30. It was also reported that as part of a peace deal, President Zelensky said that Ukraine would discuss to consider declaring neutrality, offer security guarantees to Russia, and keeping Ukraine nuclear-free. Back to you, Marielle. Thank you, Mavian Dog, reporting live.